Hi Physics, it'll be a short lesson today. I'm going to tell you about types of waves and some of their properties. Okay, so there's two types of waves we need to know about. The first is transverse waves, which I think is what you picture in your mind when you consider a wave. It's kind of waving up and down. Uh, one way we can describe it is if this wave is moving to the right, the oscillation's up, or it could be down. We're oscillating between up and down, more likely. Okay, that's an oscillation perpendicular to the direction the wave is traveling. Harder to draw, but I'm going to show you in a second. There's a longitudinal wave. That's with oscillations parallel to direction of movement. Okay, so I've got a spring. I'm going to try to frame it in the, in the phone camera pretty nicely here. So the transverse wave looks like this. No big deal. One thing I want to do is, is uh, displace the, wave, the spring up. And watch what happens when it travels across the screen. It should, you should notice it reflects down. So it goes up, reflects down. I'm going to try to get the spring nicely positioned here. I'll just put a couple more transverse waves through there. Okay, transverse wave. This is called a standing wave. We'll talk about that later. Hopefully you can hear me. The spring's pretty noisy. Okay, the longitudinal wave's harder to explain, but easy to show. This is a longitudinal wave. Okay. So there's a compressed part of the spring, and it travels back and forth. It's actually what sound waves are. Okay, so longitudinal wave, transverse wave, longitudinal, transverse. I like doing that. Okay, so I mentioned, but it's good to know, an example of a longitudinal wave is sound waves. Okay, transverse waves, it's a little more complicated than just saying light is a transverse wave, but it's a good way of, of thinking about light.